What's up guys? Honest here back with another Minecraft video. So today I kind of want to try to get started on my villager trading hall. Now that we have a little villager breeder going on there. Um but in order to get enough villagers for it, I need a lot of food. So uh I decided I want to make like a one of those villager carrot farms. And put that in here. I've been clearing out uh some of the space off camera a little bit, but yeah, so I plan on Kind of put one of these in here. I'll get uh, this cleared out. I'll get it all leveled, the dirt all dug up. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Status update. I need some glowstone. I found some. Pretty safe. No worries, guys. I dumped all of my important diamond gear before I came in here, so even if I die, it's not gonna matter. People act like I'm scared of the nether, and I'm not. It isn't true. I'm scared of dying. Just because the nether is death doesn't have anything to do with that. But yeah, I mean, other than that, the nether honestly isn't even that scary. Let's be realistic. I don't have enough carrots. Why did I think this was gonna be a problem? Do I have bones and or bone meal? Okay, that's a problem. I have an idea, though. I mean, is this all I need to do? And then just... Get some... Some sugar cane? And this thing just makes me bone meal. Look at this. Alright. Just a little, little... Yep, there it is. Some more. Let's get some more carrots. Alright, so we got this thing all finished up. Um, yeah, basically he picks up carrots, he tries to give the carrots to this dude. Hopper minecart suck up the carrots. And they end up in here. And as you can see, we've gotten almost nine stacks. In other news, I've started making my villager trading hall. So there's going to be villagers that go essentially in each one of these all the way down. I can get 48 villagers in total. Obviously, there's a lot more work to do with this thing. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along. Let's just get you guys some carrots, huh? How's that sound? You can start making me some villagers. I only need 48. Yeah. Just do your thing, you know? The thing. There it goes. Oh. Hey, buddy. Alright, I guess that's working. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate it. There's a lot of just, uh, the, the brick going on, but, you know. A work in progress. That's all you can hope for, you know? Another day, another block. Okay, so. The interior is coming together a little bit. Um, yeah, so they'll just sit in here, and I'll have the, uh, workbench. In front of them, they'll be locked in. I'll be able to trade with them. Need some soul lanterns. Also, these guys have been getting busy. Look at all the villagers I got in here. Gotta start filling this place up. Oh yeah, and I planted a bunch of acacia trees. Don't worry about it. Well, that looks like soul sand. This is really fun. Haha. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. All right, guys, we have the, uh, the soul lanterns installed, so that'll keep the place, like, kind of looking a little bit cool, it'll be dim, you know? So this place, this isn't a fun place for the villagers. Um, right now I have torches in every single one of these cells. Um, I'll, I plan on popping those out in 1.18, and then this place will be kind of at, like, light level 6. It'll look real cool. Let's see if we could get ourselves a zombie, eh? Ah! Definitely should have gotten some variant of a weapon. I guess an axle would be fine. This is a fiasco. Uh. 
we have certainly found ourselves in a predicament here. didn't go as well as I thought it would go, but we've learned a lot about ourselves. So that was a failure. However, I do have another idea. Yeah, your trees ah, suck, dude. Ah. You want to be a zombie? Okay, so if I just guide you along. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Go play with your friend. Ah, really? You know, these two are just best friends. I don't think anything could come between them. Definitely not me. You think? If I get far enough away? Or if I get out of his sight? Yeah. Are you just gonna kill him? Ha <laughs> ha! Noobs. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm gonna get that zombie into here. Um, and then he's just gonna stay there. And then when I move my villagers out, I'm gonna send them in through this way. And I'm going to stop them here. They're going to get turned. And then I'm just going to send them off. Into their respective slot. And then when they're in there, I'll heal them. And he is off. Alright, let's see how this turns out. It's perfect. Alright, let's see how this thing works. Oop. He's going, he's going. Alright, that didn't work at all. What happened? That's a rethink. Sorry, I have to do this to you, bud. There's no other way. And he should be trapped of forever. Let's go. Alright. This is gonna be good. It's gonna work. I'm pumped. While he's doing that, I'm gonna snag another one. Come on, bud. Don't worry. Everything's fine. You're safe. Oh. 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 Oh, no. Okay, you weren't that safe, but it'll be okay. Oh, and just in time, this guy's here. Looking to, uh, give me some... Okay, that trade sucks, dude. But yeah, no, nah, we're, doing, we're doing the thing. This is good. But honestly, if I can get an emerald for one pumpkin, why don't I have a pumpkin farm? Done. Huh? Um, yeah, so I guess that's all there is to it. Now I'll just get a few more. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we actually want. Look at this. Come on, son. Who needs an XP farm? 
almost like getting a fair amount of iron. I have all of these iron blocks, and then I have a double chest full of it. Melon farm 2. And, after one night of AFKing, we have pumpkin. And we have melon. Let's get to work. I mean, farming pumpkins is absolutely more efficient than farming melons, but you know, we'll take what we can get. Well, this seems bad for efficiency. That's better. Status update. We've been doing some trading. You know, we've gotten a little bit of XP, some golden carrots, some ender pearls. Look at all these emeralds we've gotten. Um, also, we've gotten a bunch of books. We've got silk touch, mending, and efficiency 5, a little bit of loyalty. Yeah, so here's some of our traders. we got farmers. Few of them. We have our mending, our silk touch, and our efficiency five guys over here. These guys give us XP, one emerald for a bottle of enchanting. Um, these guys are just good for glass trades. Um, I can buy glass from these guys, turn it into glass panes, and sell the glass panes to them. So yeah, we've been grinding out a little bit with this. Those are all the villagers we have so far. Um. Also, I've been kind of starting to clean up over here. I took down all the old villager trading stuff that I had going on, so that's gone. And I've also gotten a little bit more kitted, you know? Did some enchanting. So we have full diamond armor with uh, mainly protection for, which is good. I put mending on all of it, and we've got mending and stuff on all of our uh, other gear. So, yeah, we're doing good. Next up, I want to start working on some of the aesthetics um, of this area. Uh, getting rid of some of the grass and stuff and putting down a new floor that's going to match the final project a little bit better because this is going to be part of our long-term mega base as the series progresses, and it can't look like this. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to need a lot more of this, I think. I also am definitely going to need to expand my palette. There's just too much of the same thing going on, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be making the whole ground look something like this. Probably a little bit more intricate and interesting, but yeah, I'm playing around with ideas of land. I don't know if I like these walls. I don't like these railings very much, but I don't necessarily know what to put here just yet. Um, yeah, this gonna extend all the way down. Uh, we want to go past the iron farm over here with this train. I don't know how far we're going to go out this way, but, um, yeah, this little progress update. I'm going to need some magma blocks and things like that, probably. Um, I think I'm going to want to do, like, the campfire trick where you put a campfire down and, like, a carpet and get some smoke particles. I want this place to seem like it's kind of on fire a little bit. This is a problem because zombies can just walk up and eat my villagers. I'll have to kind of deal with that. But, uh, yeah. That's what I've done so far. I will say doing anything with efficiency 5 is better. Period. So I said I wanted this place to seem like it was on fire, and... Yeah, it's on fire. I don't think this is how I end up keeping this. I was thinking about like having the border all the way down with flames, but I might have it more randomly laid out. Um, yeah, we've made a little bit more progress. It was mainly, um, I've got this all the way down to the end of the villager trading hall, and same with this side. Um, I think... That is all I'm going to have time for today with this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully, in the next episode, we could make some more progress um, with the aesthetic of everything I've been building. I want to like make all the farms um, have actual structures that kind of match the palette, um, including the sugarcane farm, the iron farm, the melon pumpkin farms over there. And... Uh, yeah, so we'll get that done, and I'm thinking about maybe taking on the dragon in the next episode. We'll see what happens.
Um, but yeah, all of this needs to end up getting terraformed. Um, this needs to turn into something that isn't hideous. My starter base is going to disappear. And then this, these farms need to go. We need to turn this into something good. Yeah, but uh, until next time, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you.